looking like me, trying to rap like me, act like me, talking like me, even told the barber make their hair nappy. Hey, for a minute, I was finna change my swag up. Then I remember, this the shit that got my bag up. Crash what? Nigga, I got power. Bitch, get the drop, mask up, go within an hour. What's good, y'all? It's your main man, Daquan, and I'm back with another video for y'all. And in this video, we're going to be seeing six things I've learned from switching from a big man to a play shot in 2K21. And I didn't switch officially. I'm still going to have my main build. And also, I've had a play shot in other 2Ks, but this is just my first time in the, what, the last seven to eight months coming back on a guard build. So this is just six things I've remembered or relearned from coming back on a play shot. But number one the pressure i ain't gonna lie you get a lot of pressure from running point and it's not pressure from running point but it's pressure from scoring think about it you get the ball every single possession but if you miss one shot you gonna feel like you ass or you gonna think your teammates feel like you ass running the point is not hard at all all you have to do is see the open man and be willing to pass to the open man depending on the situation but again you get the ball every single possession so you're getting the ball by choice on my big man build i'm getting the ball by force i'm getting the ball by grabbing a rebound getting the steal or just something that i made happen i'm about the second or third option on the team for getting the ball but the, again the point is the first option so you keep getting you keep having to prove yourself to your teammates but for number two what i learned is the greed on this fucking game bro people are greedy as fuck it doesn't matter big man guard bro every person i ran into I, I know if you play with your own friends your own teammates they're not gonna be greedy you guys have communication but when you don't have communication with other people in the park they begin they become so fucking greedy bro it's it's amazing i guess it's from lack of trust and another thing i've learned about this greed shit is when you in the second spot, the shooting guard position, because when you on in the park, it goes the point, shooting guard, and then the big man. But when you in the shooting guard position, that you don't get the ball at all, bro. And don't mind that shot right there. But you don't get the ball at all. You're, you're really like the third choice. You get the ball when someone else is getting clamped up or something. So I do feel bad for all my people out there that are in the shooting guard position in the park. But yeah, again about the greed shit, bro. And then when they get greedy, it makes you want to be greedy because you didn't get the ball all game. And then they see you being greedy and then they want to be greedy. And then it creates a loop. Like, come on, we need to stop that shit. But for the third thing I've learned is the dribbling. The dribbling kind of feels weird in this game. On my big man or my slasher build, bro, I just use the basic left stick pull back. The, just the most basic shit you'll see in this game and it feels great i'll be breaking niggas off but th with that player i'm kind of tall and my my moves create more range so on a guard you're kind of more smaller you have to create more moves that require your speed mixed in with a whole bunch of misdirection moves and trust me i've been learning to get back into the, the little dribbling scene but in this game i don't know it just feels unnatural like every move that is good in this game isn't supposed to be in the game for example the quick stop 2k doesn't have a how to do a quick stop in their tutorial how to do a speed boost you literally have to do moves that aren't in the game to be good in this game and especially in this game it's always been that in 2k but with this game it just feels weird as fuck i don't know why is that just me my favorite years of dribbling were 16 19 like them shits those were the prime years of 2k bro and the dribbling being good in those games should really tell you something. But on to the fourth thing. The fourth thing I've learned is how rare good big men are, bro. You go in the park, all you're going to see is fucking bum, bum big men. If you do see some good big men, they most likely going to be playing with a squad. And if you see a high rep big man that's all by himself, then his main build is mostly a play shot. So you already know that nigga going to be greedy as fuck. As soon as he gets the ball, he gonna be wanna do some extra shit. Some good big men know how to do three things. We have, I talked about this in my comp big man video. Set screens, grab rebounds, and play defense. It's, it's so simple. Some people can't even do that shit, bro. Some of these randoms out here be trying to do some extra shit, bro. Like, 
I promise you that ain't scoring ain't all to it in this game, bro. It's a lot about teamwork. But on to the fifth thing is the jump shot meter. I don't know why it feels like this, but the jump shot meter just feels forced as hell, bro. It doesn't feel good at all. Like. I missed the, the 16 where it was just a full big bar. With this one, you have to track a little dot trying to hit another little dot. Like, I don't know, but it doesn't feel natural. But for number six is the defense. I feel like it's easier to play defense on a guard in this game, bro. Like, I have a 6'8 build that's a lockdown that's meant to guard big men, but I can still kind of guard guards. But guards in this game, you guys are meant to guard other guards and bro that shit is so easy bro i know i got fucking cooked in this game but if you actually went and looked at the what he was shooting it was all off ball shots but it really is easier because you're you're a faster player if you're on a guard build and you know how to play defense you will lock some people up bro but if you enjoyed this video make sure you like comment and subscribe and i'm out